Hello, welcome to my video. Um, we all know how to create a form and share it with users to collect their responses. So it can be a quiz or it can be a survey. Um, either ways, we don't have an option to restrict who within the organization can fill in, isn't it? So if the person to whom you share the link to the form survey forwards to another person in the organization, they can fill in the form too. All they need is a link to the form. So, well, not anymore. Microsoft has released an update to the forms so that you can get to choose only the certain people in the organization can fill in your form. It can be a survey or a quiz. So let's see how to do that. So I'm going to create uh, a quiz. So let's call it restricted quiz. Okay. Okay, sorry. I'm going to add a question. Okay, free now. No. And yes. Okay, just a stupid question. One question. Okay. Um, after that, click on the share button. Okay. And here you can, you might have seen this already. Send and collect responses. Um, you, you know only people in the organization can respond option was the default selected. So if you drop that drop down, you can see another option called specific people in my organization can respond. Okay. So you click that and you can type in the user uh, or the users, multiple user or it can be a security group, whatever, or even a mail enabled group. Yeah. So uh, for my testing purpose, I'm just going to put my name. Okay, and uh, you can go click here and see who you have been added and you can delete them if you want to. Okay, go back and that's it. Uh, now let's see, we can share it. You can share any of these form uh, methods if what your preferred method. So I'm going to click on the link. Okay, link and copy. I have already copied. Um, so uh, once I copy it, I'm going to go as a different user and try to access this form. Yeah, so I have a different user. I have already copied. Yeah, let's do one more copy and go as a different user. So this is a different user. Show for me. Yeah, and paste the link and hit the enter. Then you will get this error message saying like you don't have the permission to view or respond to this form. Great. So. So this is how you restrict, um, you create a restricted Microsoft Forms survey or a quiz. So no more to worry about who will fill in your organization. You can restrict uh, certain based on the users. It can be a security group, main enabled group, whatever. Totally secured now. So thanks for watching this video. If you like, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Bye.